guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Here We Go Math Grade 4 Module 1 Lesson 16 homework. So let's get started. Number 1. Zachary's final project for a college course took a semester to write and had 95,234 words. Alright, and Zachary wrote 35,295 words the first month and 19,240 words the second month. So round each value to the nearest 10,000 to estimate how many words Zachary wrote during the remaining part of the semester. So let's see. We know that he has to write a total of 95,000 words, 234 words. And so these two are the amount of words he wrote in the first semester. So let's round. So 35,295 would round to, if it nears 10,000, it rounds to 40,000. And then 19,240 rounding to the nearest 10,000 would round to 20,000. And then 95,000, just right here, 234 if rounding to the nearest 10,000. Let's see, 10,000, it would round to, it would, it would round to 100,000. All right, so this is our estimate. So let's see, um, how many words he needs to write the remaining part? Well, we have 40,000 plus 20,000, which is 60,000. So that's how many words he wrote in the first semester. And he needs to write a total of 100,000 words. So 100,000 minus 60,000 would be 40,000. So our estimate is 40,000 words. So Zachary wrote about... 40,000 words the second semester. And all right, number B, find the exact number of words written during the remaining part of the semester. So now we um, find the exact number. So 35,295 plus 19,240. Five plus zero is five, nine plus four is 13. 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 9 is 14. 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So 54,535. And now let's subtract. 4 minus 5, borrow a 10. 14 minus 5 is 9. 2 minus 3, borrow a 10. So 12 minus 3 is 4. Wait, did I say four? Oh, 12 minus three is nine. I was thinking divided by three. So 12 minus three is nine. Um, let's see. One minus five, borrow a 10. 11 minus five is six. And where was I? Four minus four is zero. Nine minus five is four. So we got 40,699. So Zachary, wrote 40,699 words. And now it says, use your answer from A to explain why your answer in B is reasonable. Well, our answer is reasonable because we estimated 40,000 and our real answer was around 40,000. Like it wasn't like maybe like 70 or 80,000, like way off, it was like pretty close. So I'd say our answer is reasonable. reasonable. Because my estimate estimate was very close to my answer. So then we know we're not like way off and it's most likely correct. Alright, next page. 
Number two, during the first quarter of the year, 351,875 people downloaded an app for their smartphones. During the second quarter of the year, 101,949 fewer people downloaded the app than during the first quarter. So how many downloads occurred during the two quarters of the year? A, round each number to the nearest 100,000 to estimate how many downloads occurred during the two quarters of the year. All right, so this, is, this problem is more than one step. So first, we need to find out how many people downloaded it um, during the second quarter, and then um, we have to find out how many downloaded them in both quarters. So let's see. Let's estimate. So 351,875 in the first quarter. If we're rounding to the nearest 100,000, it would round to 400,000. And we know 101,949 fewer people downloaded it. So we're rounding that, that around to 100,000. All right, so now we do 400,000 minus 100,000 is 300,000. So we know about 300,000 people downloaded it in the second quarter. Now let's add that with the first quarter, which is 700,000. So we can say about um, 700,000 people downloaded the app. All right, but now let's find the real answer. So determine exactly how many downloads occurred during the first two quarters of the year. All right, so, um, where was I? So 351,875 minus 101,949. So 5 minus 9, borrow 10, that'd be 6, 2, 9, 9. So that is our estimate. I mean, not estimate, our answer. So that's how many people download it in the second quarter. Now let's add that with the first quarter people. So 6 plus 5 is 11. That'd be 10, 18, 11, 10, 6. So yeah, 601,801. So um, I think it's still like kind of close to our estimate, but like not very close, if you know what I mean. But I mean, it's still close, pretty close, because like, I mean, our estimate, we rounded it pretty high up for that one because it was 300, um, it was, it was 351,875. So I think our answer is still pretty reasonable because it's not like it was like something like super weird. Like it wasn't like it was like 400,000 maybe because then that'd be a bit off. So... So yeah, um, our answer, it's kind of reasonable, is reasonable because so yeah, I think it's still pretty reasonable. Because it's not like it was like, I don't know, like maybe 300, 200,000 or something. But yeah. All right. And number three, a local store was having a two week back to school sale. They started the sale with 36,390 notebooks. During the first week of the sale, 700, 
7,425 notebooks were sold. During the second week of the sale, 8,967 notebooks were sold. How many notebooks were left at the end of the two weeks? Is your answer reasonable? So let's start by rounding. We should estimate first. So 36,390. Um, let's see, what should we round this to? Let's round to the nearest thousand, maybe. So I'll round to 36,000. And 7,424 to the nearest thousand would be 7,000. And 8,967, 8, the nearest thousand would be 9,000. So let's round. So let's see. 36,000 minus 7,000 equals um, 29,000. Then 29,000 minus 9,000 9, equals 20,000. Because that's the first week and then that's the second week. So we're subtracting both weeks to see how many notebooks were left. So our estimate is 20,000. But now let's find the real answer. Minus 7424. So zero. All right, so zero minus four, let's borrow a 10. 10 minus four is six. Eight minus two is six. Three minus four, borrow a 10. 13 minus four is nine. Five minus seven would be 15 minus seven, which is eight, and two would be here. So 28,966, that's pretty close, but now let's subtract the 8,967. So 6 minus 7, borrow a 10. 16 minus 7 is 9. 5 minus 6 becomes 15 minus 6, which is also 9. And 8 minus 9 becomes 18 minus 9, which is 9. 7 minus 8, 17 minus 8 is 9, and 1, which is even 1. So your answer is 19,999. And that is only one away from our estimate. So our answer is definitely reasonable. So, notebooks were left. We write our answer because it was only one away from our estimate like it was pretty darn close to our estimate so yeah all right thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video helps and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel see you next time bye